Sunday. S-U-N-D-A-Y, songwriting. Sunday. S-U-N-D-A-Y, songwriting. A-A-T-F-P. A-A-T-F-P. Welcome to Sunday Songwriting. Wait, I mean 35. We have an interesting setup here, trying to block out the light. It's kind of fun, little things of light shining through. My glasses are all reflective right now. It's pretty crazy. We love you. Thank you all so much for supporting our Kickstarter. You're amazing. We have our first recording session this Friday. Woohoo! Olive Five! We've got Isaac Zulu in the house. He was on the porch and I was, started singing this song to him and I somehow convinced him to come in here and play it for all of you. It's an awesome sport. Raw, rough, Sunday songwriting style. I'm not so good at it. it is Labor Day today. So happy Labor Day, everyone. But also a very happy new year to all of you celebrating the Jewish holiday, Rosh Hashanah. Yay! I like to celebrate Rosh Hashanah by going apple picking. I got these apples from Farm in Dekula called the Briar Patch. And there's also muscadines. They're so good. These are really good apples. They just have rust spots, they call them, because of the cedar trees. I don't remember exactly how to explain that and how that works scientifically. Surprise! It's Hemp Wednesday on Wednesday! And part of the surprise is we are going to play for you for like an hour at the Craze Tavern to kick off their open mic. And we're going to have hemp samples from Raw Revolution. Check it out. This really yummy, amazing apple cinnamon hemp bar. Ah, it's so good. We'll be celebrating because Wednesday at 3.30, we're meeting with Congressman Woodall. So we'll let you all know how that went starting at 8 o'clock at the Craze Tavern in Duluth. It's also an open mic. Come sing your song. It's going to be a really fun week. I'm so excited. Okay, so with no further ado, we're just going to play you this song. It's... We we'll probably won't play it again for a while, but maybe we will if you demand it. Please hit like and tell your friends about it. Then we'll get the rest of the band to do it at one of our next shows, like September 21st at Jerry Farber's. All right, here we go. By the way, our first children's show at Jerry Farber's, September 21st, 4 p.m. Please come. Bah. This kind of happened on Facebook again, where I just posted stuff. It just flew through me. And so I decided to turn all those little posts into a song. I didn't know it was gonna happen, seriously. Feel free to clap along. This is what our rehearsal sheet looks like, if you're curious. Mm -hmm. Chords and everything. And that's what Isaac's reading, and that's what I'm reading. This one took me a few times, a few printouts, as I edited it and crossed things out. And then, yeah, okay. Do you really know that you, yes, you are so worthy of love, so worthy of love? You, yes, you are so worthy of love, so worthy of love. Don't stop loving, loving, loving. I'm still loving, loving, loving. Yes, you receive the love. Stop thinking of those excuses not to receive That which explodes the doubt out of your heart Let the water rush over you Does your dance shakes loose? Let the water rush over you Does your dance shakes loose? And your eyes see the truth, 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 truth Do you know that you, yes you Are so worthy of love, so worthy of love, yes Oh, 
harmonies we can do. Receive the love, believe the love, receive the love, receive the love, believe the love, receive the love, believe the love. So you see there's a lot that we can do with that when the other singers come here. Yay! Oh, we're gonna kill it. Oh yeah, we're gonna live it. We're gonna bring it life. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. All these expressions in the daily world, you know, like understand instead of overstand. Uh -huh. We're going to do a little reggae on Wednesday, aren't we? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, champ. Bob Barley, here we come. Be there. Flying penguin hugging secrets. And today we are making... We started off... Chopping up a white onion. There's some chopped onion frying right there. And then Isaac just chopped up some pepper. We can keep them thick like this. Do you guys want it like that? Or do you want to chop oh, them up yeah. smaller? Oh, Simon's is smaller. Let's keep it. One cut. Yeah, one yeah. cut. We usually do it smaller. Well. Like smaller, smaller. Can we write a song? I like the Zulu cabbage. Much. Zulu cabbage. It's like a Zulu drumming and dancing in your mouth. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm so dirty. It's good. If you drop a piece of pepper off of the cutting board, might be okay if your counter's clean. I can be a germ freak and I say yeah. wash it again, but what might happen in this case is I put a bunch of lavender down so on my counter. This? So your food might taste like lavender. Yeah, I keep stirring the That's onion. What I'm asking you. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't burn. I am Yeah, the ants are there. Tearing it That's why I put lavender down. Tearing it They appeared after Kentucky Fried Chicken came in the kitchen. So that it cannot be this thing. Okay. We stir it up little that we get stuck. Isaac, why don't you add the pepper as well? He's stirring it up. So we're gonna add the pepper. There's not cashew with the tomato. Pepper first. Let me the pepper. The pepper. So we're gonna put our pepper. Hold them. Hold them, ladies and gentlemen. The Zulu cabbage looks like all of them. Cabbage. So that you can dance like heavy, like a Zulu, you know, not like a Zumba. <clears throat> Get that thing straight. Zulu. Zumba is in the morning. Zulu. Guess what's next? Can you guess? Can you guess? Uh, we are gonna spice it up. The penguin. Oh, I'm sorry. We're like gonna get it all salty. Check it out. Yeah, that mm -hmm. much salt. Mm -hmm. That much. Lots oh. of salt. Pour it in. It's like at least and three which, tablespoons. Which salt it is. Sea salt. Sea salt. Good question. Sea salt. We're gonna add. Guess what's next? Guess what's next? What's next? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Curry powder. This is from the DeKalb Farmer's Market. Mm, it's organic. Oh my god, we're gonna use all of it. Uh oh, this is our last Zulu cabbage until we get more. That is organic. Stirring it all up. Mm, it smells already. It smells of Zulu cabbage already. The Zulus are dancing. Did you hear us? You're gonna dance on the stomach and then make you dance. I rinsed this can because sometimes when cans are in storage, little mice poo on it or cockroaches. So before I open my cans, I wash them. We're going to need a whole can of this 28 ounce crushed tomatoes. No flavors added to this. There's lots of crushed tomatoes we found have basil added to it. 
hard it to find. It's already funny. crushed. That's why it's crushed. It has it has a crush, or did someone have a crush on it? Oh, well, he had a crush on us. That part too. Okay, this is a non-stick pan, so when the curry starts to stick to it, that's when you want to add your magical palm oil. And we're just going to cover it with some palm oil. It's going to be special. That's probably just enough. See if that mixes all up. If not, we'll need to add a little bit more. Mix it up, man. This is African palm oil. This is actually from Ecuador. Ecuador. It's organic red palm oil. Not to be mixed up with that crap Stop. that they make, like, I don't know, Crisco out of or something. Hydrogenated palm oil is nasty. No, this is not that. This is very healthy. Oh, that's oh, perfect. Look See? At look at that. Shiny. Can you guys see that? It's easy now. Yeah. You just slash it up in the pan. I like it. That palm oil. Do, do, do. We're making Zulu cabbage. And you can do, 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 do. <laughs> And it's vegan, all you vegan lovers. Don't let me catch you with the junky food. Organic. <laughs> Isaac, do you want to have the honor I'm Joe Biden, you cook by of opening up a can? Oh, yeah. How do you do that? Do you really? See, so here, I'm going to go to the house. So here, I'm going to go to the house. Very, very oh, gentle. It. This is a very tricky can opener. It goes sideways. Everything I know. Is See? this way? Nope, it goes sideways. Because it actually does not cut. It's so cool. A friend of mine gave it to me when he left town so to I California. Need, I need this in you actually no, go I like this. Oh, you got like a that. side. God, and then you rotate it around. And what it does is it presses the cat thing up. See, this is really yeah. nice and safe because I remember when I was a kid <clears> opening up my raviolis. I would do it and then it would have spiky edges and sometimes I would cut myself. Well, this is childproof. This is, Thank you can't mother. cut yourself. You'll see there's no sharp edge when you're done cutting, like not cutting it, but it's awesome. How we quick he done? Should I? See how he done quick? That's, you know, he didn't open it yet. Okay. No, see, see, he's trying to take it from the top, but it actually What's is it? from the side. Oh, on the side. See? He do the good. Any Ooh, sharp edges on that? Oh, no. Thank it popped you. it out. It's technology, it thank you. Yeah, one big onion and one big pepper. If you really like peppers, or if your pepper was small, put another green pepper in there. Mm, okay, so we want these to get nice and <clears throat> soft before we add the tomatoes and the cabbage. Oh. But, see these guys and myself, we like a little spice, so we're gonna add a kick <clears throat> of cayenne. Are you ready? See how the time that in this bye-bye. Now we're going to are you telling them what it is in Zulu? Mm -hmm. Good. Which means to say he liked the hot thing. Here we go. And no disrespect to all of you Zulus out there. I don't claim to be making, I, I, I didn't invent this. This is what I got from online, Zulu cabbage. So please comment if I'm doing anything wrong. But these guys said that I did it right. And they're Where's Zulu. I made it for Simon's birthday Where's and then we, God? we all got addicted. Not the I'm putting, I'm putting yeah, all, oh, all of that cayenne in there. Whoa! This is when you want to leave the room for a minute, otherwise you're going to cough. So you want to hurry and mix that in, or we're all going to be coughing here in a second. Try and hold your breath. This is a beautiful cabbage, so now all we have to do is take the outside leaves off. You pretty much have a clean cabbage after that. So just take all the outside layers off. And then we're going to rinse it. And as I have a separate bowl out, when we get ready to chop it, you want to put it in the bowl so you don't get overwhelmed with cabbage all over the place on your cutting board. So, so we don't want to that one because that was the outside one. Yeah. Mm. Mm. It's you know. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so I take the outer layers off, mm -hmm. and then I just kind of rinse that, yeah, yeah. and then I peek to see if there maybe there's a little wormy or something, cause, but they're usually just in the first layer if they're anywhere. Exactly. It might be under there, too. So can you follow me over here? Yes, ma'am. So then I chop off the bottom. Chop it, man. 
Okay. Let me right. get the bottom off. Do I see any wormies in there? Probably, uh, no. No way. I think we're good. So then I take a little bit of the hard stuff out of there. Guess what? Never believe this. This is not exaggerating. It may sound like, but it's very, very true. My sister right here, you know, I've been different things, teaching us how to cook, you know, when we had a wife, but we're trying to cook. Suddenly, she put a crushed tomato to make, you know, cabbage very, very good. But it turns what? African map right there in South Africa in Zuland. Can you believe that? And I didn't notice and Simon noticed because he notices how everything has a meaning more than anyone I know. Let's get the rest of the cabbage in there. It's in a nice bowl right here. Alright, what you can do just put in there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, see a color again man just see I put a man just see color to now put it in the it's a fagade. Oh, no Can you turn the bow down? Oops. So we're just going to get these little stragglers in there. And then we're going to get the rest of the tomatoes in there too. Let's see what shape it makes now. This looks like a big tomato. <laughs> you could just fill this with some water and squish it out. As much tomato out as you can. Keep it lifted a little bit higher, please. Look, there's a, oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> All right. You're going to let that simmer. Simmer first, and then we'll stir it, because it might fall out of the pan, because it's not juiced out yet. We're, oh, i got to keep it covered. We're making some brown rice as well. It's coconut flavored, which was inspired by Nene bringing us coconut rice to accompany the Zulu cabbage in rehearsal a couple weeks ago. Thank you, Nene. We love you. So excited. I don't know what I can say. But it land by way to. Gen command the lapo. Mazul. I could man pair. I think it's ready. Smells good. What you got in your hand over there? It's heavy heart of a cabbage. Oh, that's what we cut out earlier. Mm -hmm. Do you know that you can eat this? Make you don't have heart attack because you eat the heart of the cabbage. Neat. That's the Jomo's favorite. Do you know Jomo from Dubs? Shout Dang out to Jomo. This cooks for about 40 minutes and now we are ready to eat it. Some delectable Zulu cabbage. Oh my god, the steam is everywhere. Okay. Beautiful. Mm. Yummy. When you all make your Zulu cabbage, you could come back to this video and say this prayer with us. It'll be like we're all having a meal together. Hey, you guys, thanks for cooking this for me. Thank you for teaching us this Zulu cabbage for 21 years. My goodness. 21 years? What do you mean? I eat a Zulu cabbage. Can you imagine that? Aww. Now. 21 years later. Mm -hmm. 21 years later, I eat. We're praying right now. Best one yet. I knew if the Zulus would make it, it would taste even better. The song is coming. I'm a
That was a Julia Cook man right here. Mmm, Zulu cabbage. Mmm. See you next week. Please subscribe to our videos. See you next week. We love you. Yes, you. We love you. Yes, you. Yes, you. You. No, we love you. Outtakes. Did you say AATFP? A-A-T-F-P. One, A two, ready, and A-A-T-F. Oh, a T. I'm so mad. Why? Because I trusted. I honestly thought that this Baba Ganu was um, vegan. Who put sour cream?